Hello friends, today I'm going to solve liquid problem number one, which is two sum. So what we actually need to do is we are given a list of numbers. So these are the list of numbers, uh, integers, basically these are integers. And then we are given a target value t equals to nine. So we need to find two numbers a plus b such that those two numbers equals to the target value which is equals to 9 and we need to return the indices of these two numbers. So how could we solve this problem? Well one way to solve this problem is to iterate through each of these values. So um, in my first iteration the value of a is equals to 2 uh, which means that a plus uh, 2 plus b equals to 9 so in this case the value of b is equals to 9 minus 2 which is equals to 7 so what i need is i have the value a equals to 2 now i need the value of b to be 7 so that a plus b is equals to 9 so i need to find is does the array have the value 7 in it or not so what i gonna what i'm gonna do is i iterate i start from um, the next index and check in the array is the value equals to 7 or not and since i'm very lucky in this case because 7 is right up at the very first um iteration so i found seven so i just return the index of this value and this value but uh you know there could be case such that um this is my array suppose this is the array that i have and um okay Do they say that this is an ordered array given an array of integers assume so basically this is not an ordered array so suppose i have some other values here 17 99 and maybe i have all of these values here so basically i have all of these values here and 7 is at the very end so in this case what happens is um my first first value in the first iteration is equals to zero so basically b must be equals to nine right so for a equals to zero i iterate through the rest of the array and check is the value of, is there a nine here yes basically there is a nine here so i return it here but uh, i return the value but in case in worst case condition 9 could be at the very end so i still need to iterate through all of the list and if in the case which is even more worse if 9 was not there then i would move on to the next element at that point my a is equals to 1 then my b will should be equals to 8 and um i'll search for the list of the array and i do not find it so i uh, move on to the next uh, element and then which at that point a is equals to 2 and b should be equals to 7 and then i iterate the rest of the elements and finally find 7 here so basically in this case when i'm doing these iterations i'm to taking a for loop starting from i equals to 0 to the value to the end and minus one and within that for loop i have another for loop uh, where j is starting from i plus one to n minus one n so basically the time complexity here becomes big of n squared right which is um well we could actually reduce the time complexity by compromising over the space so how could we do that by using a map object so uh, if when we are using a map object we definitely will still be iterating through each of the elements but only once so we will not be using this second loop so we will only be iterating through the element once 
so now for first element i equals to 0 the value of a is equals to 9 uh, is equals to 0 then b should be equals to 9 to sum up to t equals to 9 right so what i do is in my map i insert the element 9 and which is the complement of a so basically i insert the element 9 which should be the value of b and then i also add the index of a which is equals to zero here right so i add the index of a as well here in the next iteration what i do is i check does the map has this value one well basically map doesn't have the value one so i um, insert the complement of one that is the value that should be equals to b and then the index and the next iteration i can check um the value is the value two in the map no it's not so i uh, calculate its complement which is equals to b equals to seven and then uh, i also insert the index of two and the next iteration um i find uh, this value i look for six does this in error has six now so i add its complement which is equals to three and then the index uh, which is equals to three and so on until i reach the L index where um the element in the array actually exist in the map so i can find that element here right it exists here and uh, that is when i return the index this index which is the index of this its complement and then i return um, this index plus the index of this uh, um, as an array as an output so in this case the space complexity is big o of n and the time complexity is also big o of n because we are only iterating through the loop once so let's solve these optimized solutions let map equals to new map <clears throat> and then um for let i equals to zero i is less than nums that length i plus plus and then we check if map dot has the element i um element at index i if it does then we are just gonna uh, return the index of its index of the complement and then the index i itself here okay yeah so this is the index of the complement and this is the index of the value itself so basically this is the index of integer a and this is the index of integer b here in this case so we are going to return these two elements okay in the form of array and if not if the map doesn't have that element then we are going to add to the map else map map dot um set the complement so we need the complement of that value so let b we are gone we will be evaluating b um b is equals to target minus nums i nums i so this is our value b and we're going to set the value b and the index i where index i is the index of element a this is a and um we set the element here and then we iterate over the um for loop so finally we will get our result okay let's use some more test cases check the value uh talking about the constraints the length is at least equals to two 
which is uh, what we need because to sum up we need at least two elements so that's fine and then finally only one valid answer exists there is at least one answer which means that uh, we will get our answer here let's submit it great